we'll just wait for a couple of minutes uh, for some of the others to call in. Hello. 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 Oh. Uh, so Jing, you are there on the call. Who else is there in the room with you? This is Hua. I'm here too. Oh, Hua. Okay. And uh, Fred and Ergen here too. I guess we can get started. Uh, I don't see anybody from Susanna's group yet on the call, but uh, I'll go get a cup of tea and come back. Okay. So uh, we have an update on action items as our first item on the agenda. And then we, I guess it's time for us to catch up on what what's actually happening with the NCE work. Um, so we still have the ongoing discussions with the Commons Pilot folks, although we haven't had a meeting in a while for now. Um, and with contacting repositories, we had the first meeting with the GDC and the TCIA folks. And the plan was for that yeah, the well. meeting with the core development team was to be scheduled. But it seems like the GDC folks are not very enthusiastic about uh, getting involved in the project. So I don't know. Um, I put my name. I put it back to the figure. Um, so I'm hoping that they will we will find a time that they can join the call just to talk about how we want to link uh, the data between TCIA and GDC uh, and do deeper indexing of both. But from from the previous meeting as well as um, the email responses to whatever email I sent out doesn't seem like the GTC folks are very enthusiastic about interacting with us on on this particular use case. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, with import and Viper, um, I think uh, the consensus, or at least the thought, was that we could potentially link. Um, data in IRD uh, with the strain information in import, um, and this would be purely at the level strain level and not really at the data set level. I don't know if this is what we want to do. I think, Elizabeth, maybe would it be possible for us to bring this up in the next EC meeting and see what the EC would like to do? Yeah, I think we should. Um, and uh, the the place where we could have 
sample or study level or at least data set level linkage uh, would be between import and geo and SRA as far as I understand. And uh, again, this is um, this would be a slightly different use case, but this is something that we could look into. Um, so with IEDD, Philippe and Alejandra are supposed to be um, contacting them, so I haven't had any updates from them yet uh, in terms of whether I know Philippe was trying to map the uh, or help the IEDD folks map to that, and I, I guess they're still working on it. Uh, but we haven't had any updates with reference to um, to where they are yet. Uh, with ICTSR, I think we we pre we had a pretty good meeting last time, and we we've had pretty decent uh, um, outcomes or deliverables that we want to get. So one was to get a comparison of the DAT, DDI schema.org that's currently exported by ICPSR. And Matthew sent in this document. I don't know if anybody has had time to review it. Jeff, did you, were you able to take a look at the document or not yet? Hello? Sorry, was talking to a muted phone. Um, uh, uh, no, I haven't been able to look at the document yet. Um, uh, that's on my to-do list. Um, but the, um, we are using the DDI um, data feed uh, right now to grab the data from ICPSR. Oh, not the that. Uh, and we, yeah, I mean, I think it's, we we've been doing both, but I think the, the the one with the more data has been the DDI feed, if I remember correctly. I I can double check, but we've been we've done both. Um, okay. Uh, so. Also, that reminds me uh, when we're talking about the data feed. So, from for import, are we pulling in data, or are have they been exporting data to us? For import, we pulled in data, um, and then there was there was some back and forth between uh, Philippe and others at import about updating. I'm, I'm trying to remember this, correct, uh, but uh, um, but I'm not sure of that made it to completion yet with uh, sort of updated import ingest. So they they are not exporting that yet? I don't believe, I mean, I'll have to check. I don't believe so. Okay. Because that was what Philippe was working with them on was sort of the mapping to DATS, I believe. Right, but I think I remember that I met the person who actually did the mapping when we went for the CDE meeting, and he said he he was confused and he wasn't sure that he had mapped it correctly. Um, so he had a lot of uh, questions with the mapping to that. Um, so I wasn't. I wasn't sure if we started getting the feed from them. So yeah. I mean, I, I haven't heard anything about the DATS feed for import, but I mean, I uh, can double check. Okay. It's something we should probably touch base with Philippe on too, because he was the one who was, um, I think, was primarily in contact with them. Okay. Also, um, I guess the other pending item from ICPSR folks is that um, we 
we said we would get two renderings of the ICPSR data, uh, one with dimensions and the other without, um, and um, to see if there is value in getting variable level data from ICPSR. I just see Philip is on the call. Hello, yes. Sorry, I'm late. Hi, everyone. So, since you're on the call, we were just talking about uh, import, and Jeff said that maybe you had been helping the import folks um, map their metadata to that. Uh, sorry, you were breaking up. I couldn't hear anything. Oh, okay. So we were talking about import and whether we are um, they are ex they are at the level where they can export their metadata in that. And uh, just said that you were probably helping them to map uh, their metadata to that. Yeah, I'm trying to reconstruct sort of where sort of that because I know I, I I thought you you'd been working with them on some of the the mappings with import, right? Uh, sorry, my line is very very bad. I can't really get anything out of the, what you you are you actually um, saying at the moment. I'll try to go back in. Just stay with me. Okay. So maybe we'll catch up with him when he calls back in. Uh, so for for uh, the schema.org markup meeting which we wanted to have, that needs to be scheduled. So since everybody's on the call, I wonder if we could maybe quickly schedule that now. So we said that it would be useful for Jeff uh, Firat and uh, Alejandra to meet independently to talk more about how to map. So Jeff, do you have your availability for next, maybe this week and next week? If you do, uh, if you can send me. Yeah, I mean, the best days for me this week is Thursday, and next week it's Monday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. I will schedule it then. For uh, the new features of DataMed that we uh, we were planning to do, uh, for the DAS output, I guess that's where we're going to talk about which Firat has been working on is currently on hold because they still uh, we're still doing the data alignment with schema.org and we hope to have a more uh, a better work I guess after we have that done we will go back to having that output from DataMed API. Um, with the search engine and the UI updates, uh, we have, I think Jing has worked on um, updating the advanced search to add in additional metadata fields. And uh, she's also uh, worked on doing the dis uh, most access data sets display and word cloud, which is basically search result visualization. So the first three parts. Uh, so what we would like to have right now is to have somebody, I mean, so this has been tested internally at UT Health, but we would like to get um, folks to go in and test these three functionalities in the beta, um, beta med website. So maybe, uh, Jeff, would it be possible to get somebody from your team to do the testing and also I'm hoping we could get somebody from uh, Elizabeth your uh, yeah. team there yes yeah, so, yeah the, we doing uh, yeah just send me the the information and I can give that to some of the people that have done it before 
Okay. So basic, basically, the main main three things that they need to kind of test out are are these three functionalities. And uh, we are, uh, I guess, we the plan is to begin working uh, with the common data elements and uh, doing the deep search. So uh, Jeff, I remember when we received the the mapping file from uh, Finex for the CDEs between in between the CDE and um, GB gap. Um, you said that we could potentially add in an additional metadata field, right? Yeah, I mean, we need to, I mean, the, and the question is how we want to do this, you know, this, the, the search across the common data elements. Um, you know, is it, is it just sort of the name, right? Or do we also need to know, um, for example, um, what higher level measure it might be a part of, right? Because a lot of the CDEs or the CDE el the, the, the elements are elements of a composite score, right? So we would need to know potentially also the composite score. I mean, the, I mean, it really gets to how, I mean, how these searches are going to be done, right? Or 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 how people are going to, you know, be doing the search. Um, and so I don't know on, on, on your end what you know are, are, is there going to be any user testing on the on these searches you know with naive users or you know what I mean what's the I plan don't think to test or I as far as I know we did not okay, okay. say we would do any user testing okay. I mean any targeted user testing the way we did. Right, uh, right. Earlier on, um, we, we, but we I can think. Ask our GIA do some testing if needed. Ask some GIA do some testing. Right. I think uh, uh, what Jeff is talking about is um, the way we did uh, user testing hub before we taught. You know, they recruited the actual users. Oh, formal user testing. Uh, yeah. yeah, probably no. Yeah, so yeah, so the question is, how do we? I mean, um, you know, but as is, I think we still need to actually. Uh, we do have some mapping information between the dimensions of the variables field. And the common data elements, but this is only for DB gap. We don't have it for anything else. Right, and and so we may need to build in something that, which is, I guess, what Hua was talking about previously too. That we will we will need to have some kind of a of a system built to uh, to do the mapping. Right. I mean, so the, I mean the the I mean the well. I mean, in some cases, the the CDEs, for example, from uh, from ICPSR. I mean, they're 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 labeled, so they're not like coded, right? Um, uh, like DB Gap is. Um, so I mean, we can just right. I mean, I mean to start with I mean we can we could just take the, the the common data element information that we have um, but when we last time when uh, Shaoling tried a tried a direct you know search I think we've got very few that would actually uh, that displayed the actual CDEs. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, we're we not going to get. I mean, 
Yeah, it's going to be a limited data set, right, in terms of what we have. Um, right. I mean, as it is, I think even at the ingestion level, we are not pulling in a lot of repositories with seed, with variable level information. No, well, because a lot of them, it's either implicit or it's not, right? It's, they, they, they don't have that information. So, I mean, ICPSR has the CDE information. dbGaP has it coded. Um, I I'll, think GDC has uh, CDEs. Yeah, and then potentially in also the data, But we are, not, yeah. we are not indexing at that level, though, yet. Right. Yeah, the question is if, if there's, because the seed, I mean, there's no, I mean, if the CD is also cross, I mean, cross map, but I, I mean, I think with the initial sources, if we just add in the dimension, I mean, because right now in DAS it's modeled as a dimension. Right. Um, and so, you know, the only thing we can we can do is to model them as dimensions to start with. Um, and see that, you know, you know, see what we get out of that. So, but even there, um do we need need some kind of a mapping system that would actually map it? And then, you know, we would run it like how we run the NLP. Um, for DB the Gap, we'll end. need. Yeah, if, I mean, for DB Gap, we'll need to because they're coded, right? So we need to do something special for DB Gap. Um, what do you mean by they're coded? Well, remember they have those uh, those uh, funky IDs, and then they have that oh. that, that spreadsheet. Right, so, but those but, are the C, uh, CDE IDs, right? Uh, they're not. They're DB Gap IDs for the CDEs, and then in that spreadsheet they have the actual CDE information. But even with the others, I think we may need some kind of a mapping, which is, I mean, it may, it may not necessarily need an ID, but we need some kind of a mapping uh, between the variables and the CDEs, don't we? Well, they're providing the CDEs, right? So that's, that's, uh, so what, from what I understood from the review that Shaoling did, not not many repositories provide CDEs. They just provide you variable level information. They do not actually have CDEs. Oh, you're talking about mapped onto an identifier. Right. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean that's sort of the, that's sort of a second stage, right? Because the identifier, I mean, it depends what set of CD. I mean, you know, there there, there could be a number of different identifiers because uh, you know, you know, there are a number of different, for example, uh, CDEs that have age. So it's it's the question is, how does one potentially collapse those, um, if if that's at all possible? Um, because the search isn't going to, well. Well, right now. I mean, so we did have some kind of a search, 
um, like a, a proof of concept search that Shaolin generated some time ago, which was available, which is available on the beta uh, data met site. But that's again very, very limited. Primarily because we are not pulling in variable level information. Right. Yeah, I mean the because mapping to a common set of CDEs because there's so many variations of CDE registries um, and even in those CDE registries are duplicates because the same score is represented multiple times with different variations. Um, the question is how would How would we want to handle that? Mm. Well, okay. I, 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 so there's no you. There is no unifying. Set of CDEs, you mean? Uh, there are attempts, but I don't think there is a unified representation yet. I mean, there is the NIH CDE repository, um, for example. Uh, but I don't know how much alignment they do. That. I, I can look at that over this next okay. week. I think from the ontology perspective, CD is quite messy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let me. I'll, I'll look at the NIH CD repository again and see what. And also the. NCI has a thesaurus, which might also have some classifications. Okay. And uh, uh, since Nancy, you're on the call, did you did you get to talk? To the IRD folks, uh, we haven't. We just uh, we just start to um, send them the email to uh, ask for a meeting. So uh, I just got reply, auto reply from the uh, the Viper team that I, I think they are uh, out of town. So probably um, we could have some meeting with them for uh, at this Friday or next uh, next week after they come back. Okay. Um, yeah, besides that, I think, uh, so this is, we already talked about the testing, and uh, I think uh, that's, that's essentially uh, all we have. Philippe, uh, do we want to go back to, I don't know, Philippe Holden? Uh, yes, yes, sorry. <laughs> I'm back. Yes, I can hear you very well now. Okay. Uh, so we were talking about uh, import and whether uh, you were helping them to map that, to map import uh, metadata to that. Um, I, I, think, I, I think they did most of the work Themselves, I think it was uh, John and uh, at the time uh, Jeff, who were basically doing most of the mapping and, and writing uh, the, the, the post function. Um, 
Any anything in particular about the mapping? So it was mainly so it was mainly on 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 their side then because because I I I you know I'd seen a couple emails but I I wasn't doing any of the mapping so it was mainly on their side. Um, and I knew you said they had questions. At the right, I remember meeting. I think it was probably John uh, during the CDE workshop that we had, and uh, he seemed to be a little confused and wasn't sure that they'd done the mapping correctly. My, I, I'm pretty confident about their mapping because somehow the underlying uh, schema for impulse is uh, a mix between CDS, KZTM, and ISA uh, format. So they, they, they would have a good understanding of how this maps into the uh, various data sets objects, uh, that objects like study, like uh, project and all, all these kind of things, material and dimension. Uh, maybe the, 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 some of the kind of repeated uh, measures that could be uh, declared as specific dimensions in, in their model might have uh, Cause problem, but again, I don't remember exactly what was the nature of the problem. If, if it is anything related to ob big objects like at the study level, the project, the, the one, this mapping is straightforward, and I don't think they, they would have had any any ambiguity. Uh, maybe now that I'm thinking loud, I think one of John's questions was the fact that there were several ways to map the same information into that. And that was uh, somehow concerning him, and he wanted to know what were the most frequent patterns that they were using. And basically, this would mean comparing with other uh, repositories and how things have been done, so that we really go for the most frequent ones. Right, but I think ultimately uh, we haven't had. Uh had any had them complete their mapping and exporting their metadata to us and that's yet, right? Really? I, I thought they were indexed. They are indexed, but I I thought we were pulling in the information rather than than them exporting uh, like ICPSR does. Yeah, I'll, I'll check on the on, on on the DAT side of import because I I wasn't clear. I didn't think they we were getting it through a DAT feed. I thought we were getting it via another mechanism. But I'll I'll double check that. Okay. Uh, so so it's not, I mean, so it's not a DAT feed. We'll probably. I mean, we should we should then, you know, contact them. You know, once I find out. Um, about how we want to, you know, to see if we can get the export from them if we don't have it yet. Yeah, I uh, think so the contact would be John Campbell because Jeff has left. I, that would be he would be the okay the, the main contact. I think if he has time as well to dedicate that work now. But, uh, we can definitely look into that. Sorry, I, I don't have a recollection of of exactly. I thought the mapping was done, and it was forcing to, to uh, not for maybe not everything that is available from from inputs, but at least a good chunk of it. And for IEDB, uh, Philip, I know you were helping them to map uh, their uh, metadata into that. Correct, but I've not been interacting with them since since last time. So I think what we left. Uh, with a, with an action item for me to check with you, Jeff, actually, about uh, because we had a set of outstanding questions, but I, I would have to do it. So they have you have some questions for Jeff? Right. Yes, I, I think it was. Um, um, about the, pipe, the transformation pipeline. So I think when I did an mapping to the uh, the landing page uh, of IDB, 
um, which is only a subset of the, the, the entire resource. I did a, a kind of uh, first scan uh, with a path to the object, to the attribute and object that we needed to, uh, we had to retrieve. Um, but I think what we left is that I, I created a stub of the data transformation pipeline and uh, then I didn't follow up or we didn't manage to find time to follow up to, to assess if the mapping was correct or functional um, with respect to the transformation language that is used by the import pipe, the, the pipeline to, to load uh, into that, into data net. Okay, I mean, so we can... I can't look at the information, let me... Uh, so I mean, Philippe, I mean, that's something that we can follow up on. I mean, we can... Right, yeah, right, yeah, that's fine. Open, so, yeah. Yeah. So, Philippe, I also wanted to find out if uh, you and Alejandra would be available for a call uh, for, the, for updating the schema.org markup we have. Uh, right, yes, yes. I've been working on that, actually, um, and, and um, this has revealed, in, uh, well, if we go for a complete alignment with the schema.org object, we would have to alter um, the that and modify the, some of the classes. So this is still a kind of uh, a significant amount of work. Um, so we can definitely update you. So if you want to have a separate call, let us know um, when we can do that. So at least we could highlight and point to the, the areas where that model would have to be modified so that if we want to completely align with uh, schema.org types and their properties. Right. So if we are not planning to do that, then should we move on and uh, convert or at least uh, start looking into or working on uh, on having the DAT export option for, for the API? Because I think we put that on hold uh, since we said we would align schema.org and DATS and then go back to doing it. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I, get, I got the first part of the uh, of, of the question. Um, uh, maybe uh, so. I, I think we, we indeed all agreed on how to, to move towards um, uh, to making sure that the DAP uh, schema would would have uh, all the keys would be basically um, mapped into the the, the schema that also made uh, completely aligned from our. Um, and I think that as I was doing this modification, I realized that uh, a number of objects of schema.org types were not completely aligned with what we had, so which would directly lead to a modification of, 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 the, of the, that schema if we want to go that route. And in turn, that would mean a change to the, to the pipeline processing. And so it might be very, very expensive uh, for, the, for the entire group. So to, to, to go, go that route, um, and again, I guess owing to the lack of, 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 of visibility, but this, this is a task we, we want really to take on board or simply document what would entail to do that move. Right, and, 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 and in the services, we could, we could always do that remapping, right? Potentially. Um, right, right. But uh, uh, is, if, if, if we want to have a dedicated call on that, um, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely happy to, to help here. When we'd like to have a call. Um, yeah, I mean, I knew, I mean, I knew this is really, you know, for Farad to, 
answer some of the questions he has and uh right yeah 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 so i think yeah i mean we can we can move forward on that and um you know try to keep it simple just in ter you know in terms of you know the the mappings he needs to schema.org right correct because right now we asked him to hold off doing any mapping any further mapping until we figured out whether right. we want to align but yeah. So in a way, what I did um, uh, last last month, in a way, is to go over again the, the latest uh, uh, element of, of schema.org that were available and really scrutinize everything. And uh, and this is where the devil is in the detail. Really, we really picked up a, a number of types which were um, whose use uh, requires modification of the schema, and this has consequences in everywhere in the other bit. Um, so that's. That's a bit of a, um, of a we would have to modify the that schema itself and, and change a lot of things. Uh, uh, or we, we, we could, so we could go a, a low cost mapping where we just ignore all those uh, new types and then there is kind of uh, incomplete coverage, which uh, is also not satisfactory, I believe. Okay, so I guess we still uh, will uh, look at the basic mappings, and then maybe we can have a call sometime where you know we're not we're, we're not taking away everybody's time, and and just talk about the mapping that uh, Ferrat needs for his work. Right. Um, besides that, is there any other issue that we need to discuss? If not, I think uh, then we can we can stop the meeting a little early today and uh, talk to you all again next week. Uh, thank you all. Bye. Bye. Right, thanks. Bye. Bye.